to get back into the whole idea of going out to people rather than staying in and protecting what has always been ours. And that's what I would hope for, a much more missionary spirit. The whole focus and future of religious life, not just for us Christian brothers, but right across the board, has been to reclaim that missionary zeal, that apostolic spirit. And this is part of it. I believe it's once again finding out who we are supposed to be and not just being a product of history, not just doing things that we always did, but trying to go back to the roots of who we are. Uh, Forty years back, this whole movement began and it's reached this point of our history today. Forty years back was the Council of uh, the Vatican Council, the Second Vatican Council. And this is reclaiming who we are, our roots, our charism, the spirit of our founder, going back to the discipleship of Jesus of Nazareth and what Jesus was all about. And that's what we are trying to do again. If I take that charism statement that we have of Edmund opening his whole heart to Christ present and appealing to him in the poor, I would see that as the touchstone for Christian brothers. And for that, I have to be with the poor. And when I speak about poor, I really mean materially poor. There are lots of different types of poverty in our world, but the materially poor have all the types of poverty. One has only to scratch the surface to see their own disillusionment and their lack of faith and everything else that's there. So we need the poor. We need the poor to evangelize us, to show us this new face of Christ. The other thing that we need is, what do we have to do to open our whole heart? It's not a part of my heart that I give, it's my whole heart, total, complete. I don't keep any part away for myself, and that's very hard. And we grow into that over life. But what are the sorts of things that open my heart to the poor? One of them is being there with them. I cannot do it from a distance. I have to be like the women at the foot of the cross. I have to be at the foot of the cross to see the dying Christ. And I have to be with the poor there to see their pain and feel their pain. If I don't feel that, my heart will not be open. And so around the world, we've encouraged brothers to move out. And not only brothers, we've encouraged heads of our institutions. We've encouraged young boys and girls that work with us to move out and immerse themselves, even for a time, in the lives of the poor. And God does the rest. Oh, I think if Edmund Rice was uh, a retired person, uh, I think he'd be one of the first volunteers to come in. <laughs> yeah, I think, he, I think, I think he'd be right down his alley. <laughs>